Good morning, and today is the 13th of September, 2016. The time is 11.30 in the a.m., and I was meant to go and get my car done today, but I haven't been in, bloody been out yet. I got up this morning at 9.30, looked right at the clock, and the battery has actually stopped on my bedside clock which is has stopped at half past one in the afternoon so I'm thinking it's half one in the afternoon but it isn't it's actually half nine in the morning so then I thought oh it's really late I didn't get up in time so then I start to just like do other things pick up my phone and it says half past ten god it's actually it's still morning god damn it <laughs> try and get my car down there and see if they can check everything out for me uh, before going to the MOT centre because I need to get my car done no matter what it needs to get done right so um, I don't know if I'm going to go down there today now I'll probably go down there tomorrow also uh, we are going to be live streaming today uh, GTA 5 on the PS3 tonight at 10 p.m. ish so join us for that if you want to get in get involved with the live stream Well, anyway, that's breakfast ready, or lunch, whatever you want to really call it. I call it food time. Um, so I'm just going to eat that, and then uh, I'm going to see where the time's at and uh, what we're going to be doing. Because we're technically meant to leave here at one-ish, so, and I've still got to go see the tenant today to drop something off for them. Non-stop. Right, finished breakfast. I've got to head down and see the tenant quickly. And then we're going to head out and go and get our Gulbani meat. Don't worry. You guys are coming along for this. So just finished at uh, seeing the tenant. Um, heading home now. Fixed their little problem that they had. So everything is as it should be. I'm gonna go pick up the Kurbani meat now. It's a really, really hot day today. Just bearing in mind what month we're in, we're like in, we're technically in autumn in the UK, uh, which would normally have a massive weather change. I can't believe how warm it is outside right now. So we've arrived in Finchley, and literally the weather is intense. It's actually 34.5 degrees. That's what the thermostat said in the car. Super intense, but anyway. We're here at the mother-in-law's. We're going to go in this red car. We're going to go to get the meat. Assalamu alaikum. Sorry we're late. Sorry we're early. So we've arrived at the halal meat shop, which has got our kurbani meat. 
literally we're gonna go in here and check out some of this awesome stuff they've literally got three lambs for us one lamb for me two lambs for my mother-in-law this is the place here that's where we're coming to get it from they're the guys who've done the Kurbani meat for us so uh, yeah we just gotta go pick up the meat put it in the car and head back Hello, and brother you alright? and then I'll look at them all cutting away Come inside this uh, Asian or Indian, for those of you in the States, like convenience store, supermarket thing. They literally sell everything Indian in here or Asian, depending on where you're from. It's called the place is called VB and Sons. Now, if you've got an Asian accent, it sounds like we're saying Weeby, but it's VB and Sons. Oh, that sounds a bit racist, I'm sorry. But look, they just got all this sort of stuff. Other quick little pan, camera's running out of battery, I've got 8% left, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to be able to do in here. So we just come out of this store, this is a completely different shop to what we were just in, and I'm not joking, right, this area, it's like going back, it's like we're in another country. I never, I, I don't, I've never been to Wembley before. No, I've never been to Wembley before, and I'm not joking, it literally is like a different country. Even though I'm te technically still in the UK, even the smell of the place smells like a foreign country. Even advertisement, okay? There's advertisement on the wall. Look, let me show you this billboard over here, right? That billboard over there is, is showcasing Asian film or something. And I picked up one of these drinks while I was uh, in that shop. I love these drinks. I don't know if you get them where you are, but trust me, get yourself one. It's delicious. So obviously we've come back from the butchers with all the kurbani meat. And basically we now have to sort it into different amounts. So as an example, this is a packet of meat that I've prepared from this batch here. And basically what we do is get a meat bag. And this is a mixture of meat. They, they, they separated it all like with like non-fat meat, bony meat. Uh, you've got like uh, end of bone meat with the soft bits in the middle and stuff like that. So what I've done, I take all the bags of meat out. I mix it and then I just load a bag up like so. And then roll this out. Proper butcher here. And then uh, just roll it up like this. And that's one cocaine packet ready of meat. That's how we do it. So that I've got to do the rest of this meat. I've got a couple more bags left to do and stuff. I'm going to crack on with that. Uh, a really good thing to do with this kind of meat, because it's like a blessed meat, you kind of have to give it to others to eat. So we try to share the meat with people that we know, like our families and stuff like that. Either feed them by cooking it or give it to them raw and they can cook it if they want to make something in particular with it or whatever. I'll, I'll show you guys what we're going to make tonight with that. There's a massive amount of meat we've taken out. I'll show you guys what we're going to make tonight with that. So that bloody mess is literally all the sort of like liver, all the, this is like the lungs, this is like liver, this is kidney, this is heart. All these parts are literally the most delicate parts of an animal to eat. They're the most uh, nutrient rich parts. They have the most vitamins, they have the most bacteria which is good for your body and it's something which Mauritians love to eat and Indians love to eat as well and Africans. Uh, it's a, you know generally around that area people love to eat this kind of uh, delicacies from animals. And uh, my mother-in-law is a specialist at making this stuff. My mum used to do it for us before, but obviously she ain't with us no more. So I'll get my mother-in-law to make it now. So she's going to cook this stuff here, and she's going to turn it into this really nice, authentic, super hot, super spicy, like, mixed curry um, of these different parts. 
I will show you what this looks like afterwards. It doesn't look like anything that it looks like right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this up into smaller pieces and then uh, she'll put it together. Right, so after coming back from the butchers, right? I told you guys it was a pile of meat, right? It was huge. I'm not joking. And literally, this is what is being made with it. Gotta be careful. I'm probably not burning my hand here. But literally, in this pot is literally like I don't know how much pound of meat, but it's loads of meat. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's this pressure cooker here, which has got a special thing in there for me. You know, I told you the lungs and the heart and the and the liver and the kidney and all that jazz is inside. That pressure cooker over there, making a nice little deep curry for me. It's like it's it's a really really unique thing to have. Not everybody likes to eat it either, but African people in general love it. So literally, I've been eating it all my life. It's got a little bit longer left, and then it'll be ready. Back home from a really exhausting day managed to get the meat as you guys saw had a really good time but now it's time for bed i literally right was meant to live stream today but i didn't i had to cancel it because it's like half 12 now so it's like super duper late tomorrow we'll start the vlog with a little shave i'll see you guys now tomorrow